Hi, my name is Amy Perlman. I'm a urologist with expertise in men's health. Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Dubin. I'm a urologist and I also specialize in men's health and I want to thank Dr. Perlman for joining us today. Uh, so I want to ask the big question here about penile girth enhancement. So what do we currently know? What's the state of it? Because it has become such a popular topic within men's health mm -hmm. in the last few years. Yeah, it's a popular topic within our field and also popular just with the normal men walking down the street. Yes. And when we think about all these exciting topics and innovative topics that we talk about at meetings like the SMSNA, you know, there aren't too many topics that are as polarizing as penile girth enhancement. For sure. And, and I, I used to be on the other side of this with more concern regarding this therapy. And a lot of that was because I just wasn't familiar with the existing research. And so, you know, one story for a lot of these innovative therapies is really being told. And I'm excited to present this work because I think it tells a slightly different story and there are many stories to be told. So let's talk about what we currently know when it comes to penile girth enhancement with injectables like hyaluronic acid. This is not the first time this work is being presented or published. It's actually, this work has been in the literature for at least five to six years. And those studies are not even retrospective studies. They're prospective, randomized, and somewhat blinded studies. Now, there are um, challenges and, and barriers to those studies, meaning they don't have long-term follow-up. It's up to 18 months in the current literature, and the sample sizes are small. So we know that up to 50% of men are dissatisfied with their penile that's size. That's a big number. Dr. Dubin, that's why this topic matters, and yeah. we are in the perfect role as urologists and men's health specialists to take on this challenge and find a good way to support the men. So the work that we've done was looking at a big sample of men, nearly 500 men who underwent hyaluronic acid dermal filler for penile girth enhancement. And what we found is that it's actually safe. None of these guys reported erectile dysfunction, none of them reported loss of penile sensation, and none of them required surgical intervention for any complications. Two of them had a superficial infection treated with oral antibiotics, and three had granulomas that were able to be resolved with an injection of another medication to get rid of that filler. So it matters because men are interested in cosmetic procedures, it impacts their confidence, and we can help those guys. And when it comes to safety and efficacy, chemotherapy, super effective, adverse events when it comes to Absolutely. cancer. Absolutely. And so when it comes to anything that we do, the number one factor is safety. And so I'm excited that this work is adding to the existing literature, adding to this foundation of men's health to say, you know what, we actually might have a safe and effective option for so many men. I think that what you're doing is really interesting and really important because like you said, do no harm is rule number one when it comes to doctors. And you know, if we can help our patients safely and effectively, which it sounds like mm -hmm. your study shows that we can, I think that's a really extra great tool to have in our, our armament uh, to help men with, with their problems and, and their concerns. So I wanna thank you very much for coming today, talking with us and, and you know, highlighting your study, it's really important work. Thank you, and I think you know, one of our challenges moving forward is there's still more work to be done but maybe even the bigger challenge is we have to normalize this conversation, that it doesn't mean that someone has a pathology or has body dysmor dysmorphia if they want to change an aspect of their body. So I think that might even be the bigger challenge, but I think between a lot of us within the SMSNA, I think we're ready to tackle that challenge. I think so, that's mm -hmm. really, really cool. All right, thanks for watching this video. Uh, for more videos, check us out on YouTube at the SMSNA channel.